Hi, this is Scott Kilo, Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, we're once again back with the TID Radio TDH8. In today's video, I want to talk about setting the radio up for the three different operating modes that I mentioned during the review. And one of the, the valuable features of this radio is it is very versatile. And it can be um, un unlike, an, and there's only a couple of other radios I've run across that'll do this, and they're definitely not within the price point of the, the TDH8. But you can set this radio up. Um, so for mode one, you have uh, the radio will be locked in as far as transmit capability into the amateur radio bands exclusively. It will not transmit out of the ham radio bands. Amateur radio service only. Um, although it does have the wide receive of 136 to 174 and then 400 to 512 for receive. But when it comes to transmit, amateur radio bands for VH for 2 meter and 70 centimeter only. Um, now you can also set it up from mode 2, and mode 2 it's locked into the frequencies that are allocated by channel to the general mobile radio service, and it will only transmit within that channel scheme and nowhere else, although again it still retains wide range receive. And then mode 3 is going to be full expanded transmit. So that's full ability to receive and transmit from 136 to 174 megahertz and then 400 to 512 megahertz. So regardless of how you approach radio, you've got a, a, a channel scheme that you can set up with the TDH8. So let me show you how easy it is to do that. But before we get to that, whenever you change the mode on this radio, it does a full factory reset on the radio. So whatever you have programmed into this radio, either via the front panel in terms of preferences for beeps and tones, etc., or any of the channels that you programmed in, when you switch these modes, they will be gone forever. You won't be able to get them back. So if you're going to do this and you already have stuff programmed into the radio, uh, regardless of what program you use, whether it's Chirp or whether it's OD Master or whatever, you're going to want to back up a copy of what you have programmed into that system so that you can retrieve that information later. Or if you don't care for the mode you're about to set up, then you can just go back to your original operating mode and then set your channels up uh, or frequencies the way you want them just by uploading the file that you saved. So again, this will erase everything on the radio, so make sure you back up important information before you do this. So the process is very, very simple. It's going to involve the on-off button or channel or volume, uh, your on-off uh, volume control knob. It's going to involve your PTT, and it's going to involve one of three these three buttons on the far right side of the panel, either the asterisk or scan button, the zero key, or the pound key. Those are each going to be used depending on which mode you want to set up. Now the first mode I'm going to set this up is going to be for the amateur radio service. So if you want to set this radio up so it's locked into the ham radio bands, what you're going to do, and I found the easiest way for me is use my thumb, forefinger, and my index finger on my right hand. So I hold down the asterisk button, I hold down the PTT, and then I turn the radio on. And it'll bring up this dialog screen. It says initial ham system, either yes or no. And you're going to press either menu or exit. In this case, I'm going to press menu for yes. Welcome. And now the radio is set up for amateur radio service. So we see our band edge right there of 144. Uh, well, it's going to be 144 to 148 in VHF. So we're at 144.050. Let's go ahead and key down make sure it works. Terrific. Now let's go... Uh, one, One, three, three six, six oh, zero, five, five, zero. zero. So that's the lower edge of the receive spectrum in a fully expanded transmit radio. This would transmit, but we're going to make sure, or we're going to determine whether it will or will not transmit. So cancel. Okay, we'll not do that. So we are locked into the amateur radio band. So uh, again, this radio will only do the um, the the channel or the rather the frequencies allocated to the uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeter amateur radio band. So let's go ahead and turn it off and now we're going to set it up into the GMRS mode. For GMRS mode we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hold down the, the PTT. We're going to turn the uh, radio on while we're holding down the zero key. So in this case it says initial GMRS system. We press yes. Welcome. 
Now, it brings up that 136050. Oh, oh. Let's go ahead and key down and see what happens. Nothing happens, so we've got an arrow there. Um, so what we're going to do at this point is I'm going to press VFO here. Channel mode. I'm going to go to channel mode. And we'll see channel 1 is 462.5625. That's GMRS. And we key down, and we are good to go. So we currently have in here, it should be about 30... Um, the usual 30, the 22 simplex, and the 8 repeater channels, but we are currently right now locked into GMRS mode, So, uh, and it will not transmit anywhere else. So let's go ahead and turn this off, and let's go to full expanded transmit. So let's hold down the PTT, let's hold down the pound sign, and turn the radio on. And it says initial unlock system, so again, yes. Welcome. Okay, there's that 136.050 band edge. Um, a radio locked into uh, locked into a particular service is not going to transmit here, but if I key down, see what the status indicator gives us, and we are good to go. Let's try a uh, let's try a GMRS Four, channel. Six, two, seven, zero, zero. And we transmit. So, um, and of course. One, four, four, zero, five, zero. And again, I have I have no doubt that we're going to get uh, get activity there in the ham radio area. So that is uh, again the three different operating modes and how to get there. Like I said, it's very simple, very versatile system to set up. Just again as a reminder, if you do this with your radio, it's going to erase everything. So make sure you save a backup. Um, so with that, I will bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott Kilo Sierra Six Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.